finally here. Alright, so this drive is about 2 hours and 20 minutes, it's not crazy long and it's gonna be a sunset of course that I'm trying to capture and of course some more beach shots because normally of course I am in the city or in a forest and so on but this time I'm not. But I still have to drive to 2 hours 20 minutes even though the future me is already there but the past me, how much still has to go there? Technically you are also already there but now you're not anymore. Anyway, let's drive there. Scale of 1 to 10, how cold is it? Yes, is the answer. Anyway, that sunset is on the wrong side because that's where the sea is. And that's where the sunset is. So, for most of the parts, I will be using a voiceover because it was really windy and the Mi 11 just had a lot of noise coming through. So, alright, we have this beautiful setup. We get this house that gives a really nice contrast with, of course, the sunrise and a light source right above it, allowing for some more possibilities. Okay, a really nice setup here again with again a really nice sunrise and a beautiful orange red colors in between it as well. And then one going down a little bit just to create a different perspective and create some depth in the shot itself. So the sun itself gives this really nice effect and again here we can play around with the reflection in the water itself using the periscope to zoom in to create some reflection on this water with these beautiful colors and afterwards of course you can play around with that really well. Alright, here is the lighthouse that I spoke about and this is actually a really nice lighthouse but of course the sunrise is sadly on the other side. I cannot create a setup where the sun rises behind it properly because of the hill behind it, not allowing really a setup that I want or have in my head but we can still play around and get some beautiful shots of this lighthouse. So here are some waves and we really want to get close to the water here and capture that moment where the wave hits the rock itself. 
So, with this closer shot, let me show you how I try to capture it. Again, I'm just trying to capture the moment that the wave hits the rock and pushes water up to create a really nice effect and again something that you can play around with afterwards in editing. Alright, a nice test here as well is a really nice horizontal shot. What I'm trying to do here is have those lines of beams meet in the middle, creating really a depth in the shot itself. And we can see a boat here as well, a good chance for of course using the periscope to zoom in. And of course we have to try to play around a little bit with the depth as well, having something on the foreground while zooming in to the boat itself. Alright, so that was it for today. Um, I go 12, seeing how it performs in general. Right now my hands are freezing, which is not pleasant, because it is really cold, but I really wanted to test a different setup. And these colder temperatures as well, when it comes to sunsets, I really like it. And of course having a beach with waves hitting it really hard or harder, creates like different styles that I normally don't capture. Periscope seems to be really solid, I really like it main camera seems to be really solid as well. We do have black and white now as well, so that's actually really something that I prefer having on my phone, on my camera, or on a phone. So yeah, I think Aiku has done a really good job when it comes to the camera and the possibilities of, of course, Aiku 12. We're gonna test it out more in different situations and see how it performs there, but let me know what you think about the camera performance of the Aiku 12. Have a good one talk to you guys in the next and I'm gonna go home and take a really warm shower first I need to drive two hours <gasps> Bye. Oh. so cold <laughs>